Oh shit, we live? Hold on, hold on, hold on. let me get mm -hmm. a little bit. Alright, back in once a motherfucking again. Corey D the motherfucking great. And today we about to go over my favorite, least favorite thing to talk about. Does that make sense? It probably don't. Anyway, we're going over compression today, which is the second step inside my vocal train. Compression, uh, compression is the second step of my vocal train. It's going to be real easy. I'm going to try to put it in the most easiest way I can put it. Um, people tend to overcomplicate compression. I usually use two compressors. It's different from parallel compression. Uh, we'll have another video about parallel compression in a little bit. That's a little bit more advanced technique. But I usually use two compressors. The first one I usually use to do... Uh, most of the heavy lifting and then for me when I use the LA-2A, uh, the LA-2A is mostly just for the saturation. I feel like I get a little bit of more warmth um, in my vocals that I like. Um, gives me a little bit more presence. So I use the uh, 1176 first and then I use the LA-2A. But I'm going to show you all that when we get into this tutorial right now. Hit me up. Let me know what type of uh, tutorial you guys want next. And we're going to keep it moving, man. We're doing good in this series. I know y'all been fucking with me. I've been fucking with y'all. So let's keep this motherfucker going, you know. Down in my recording, the motherfucking great Poseidon sounds, you know. Let's get it. Compression. So for those of y'all that don't know, compression is used to bring up the bottom low volume parts in your vocal performance and bring down the high peaks top part of your performance. So essentially, what a compressor does is reining the dynamics of your performance um, to get a more even volume of your performance. If you overuse a compressor, if you overuse compre com compression, you can squash your dynamics um, of your vocal where it just sounds very monotone, it sounds very lifeless. Um, you want the dynamic, some dynamic range in your vocal performance, but you do not uh, want to completely squash it because it's gonna sound lifeless and you're not gonna have those peaks where you feel excitement those lows where you may want to uh, convey another tone in a vocal performance. Um, so you want to just get, uh, you want to rein them in a little bit, but you don't want to overdo it. So uh, continuing where we left off from the EQing tutorial, I'm going to play the song again and I removed, I stripped down the rest of the plugins um, with these tutorials. I'm going to bring them in one by one uh, to show you guys the vocal chain and we're going to go one after the other and we're going to keep moving up till I complete my vocal chain. So I'm going to play the song. And this is with the vocal having no other plugins on it other than the EQ. Okay, so here we go. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bidding all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week because I can't fathom no. Okay. So right now, the vocals sound is recorded pretty well. Um, you see up here you have your peaks. Sorry, let me switch over to the pointer tool, which makes a little. So we have our peaks, you have high parts of your performance, and then you have some low parts. So you have like these spikes, which are transients, but you also have low parts down here. So you basically you see an up and down. That's what I was saying about the vocal performance is that your vocal performance isn't just super all one level already. It's not very like monotone already. It'll be a very boring uh, performance, unless you're going for like for a specific part, that type of feel, but you have ups, um, you have your high parts, you have your low parts. Some parts are higher than others. Some parts spike higher than others. Some parts are lower. So what the compressor does and what we're going to do is that we're going to rein in that performance and it's going to be a little bit more even. And we're not going to squash it. So I just played the song. I'm going to bring up um, my 1176. Cause that's the first style compressor that I use in my vocal chain. And we're going to solo just like we did solo the vocal just like we did with the EQ tutorial and I'm gonna play it and the song was already mixed and I just basically defaulted my settings um, so I can show you guys how to set this up I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up hard work and dedication really don't require much all this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us so I just like to throw my attack and my release to the fastest settings okay and so for this style of compressor we have an attack we have no release or not and so what the attack does um, 
to the left side of the knob is the slowest, to the right side is the fastest. The attack basically tells the compressor how fast do you want to attack that vocal with compression. So a slow fat a, a slow com, um, a slow attack, sorry. A slow attack is going to let some of that vocal come through before the actual compressor activates. A fast attack, as soon as it hits the compressor, it's going to clamp onto that vocal. That's what that does. The release. So after you shut your attack, the release is going to hold on, will determine how fast or how long, sorry, do you want that compression to last on the vocal. So a fast release, as soon as it attacks, whether it's a slower or, or fast attack, the uh, release at the fastest setting is going to grab it, then let it go, grab it, then let it go. On the left side of the setting, which is the slowest, it's going to hold on to it, however amount you have it set. It's going to hold on to the vocal longer. So it's going to attack, then if it's super all the way over here to the left side, it's going to release very slow. So it's going to let go of that vocal really slow. Um, the input knob can be used to drive the gain up from the original signal into the compressor and the output knob allows you to trim back some of the um, output gain leaving the um, compressor but generally we use makeup gain so we add a little bit of makeup gain to it because with a compressor what we're doing is we're actually taking out some of the decibel levels um, with compression and when you use a ratio so uh, the ratio basically um, on this one we have 20 being the hardest level of compression hardest compression ratio level and then we have four on vocals I like to use four for this style of compressor and basically for every um, uh, four DB that hit the threshold of this compressor only one's going to make it through. So the compression ratio basically uh, determines how much, how heavy of a compression that we're using. And for vocals, we want to use light, com a little bit lighter compression. We don't want to squash the vocals. Like I said, we want to have some type of dynamics in the performance while still getting an even tone. So how I set my compressor is that I, this style, at least 1176, is that I put everything to the fastest setting. Um, I play it, the vocal. And I had to basically make some of these other channels um, <laughs> inactive because I uh, kept taking up CPU and Pro Tools kept crashing. But anyway, back to it. I play my vocal solo. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I'm basically just using my ears. Um, I start with the attack. And right now it sounds very young. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for show they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. Doesn't sound too bad right now, but then I just roll off my, I start rolling off my attack so I can, um, till I hear more of my performance come alive. I start hearing more of the transients come through. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week because I can't fathom no defeat. That sounds like a good spot to me right there for the attack. Um, do it again. So from this... I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week because I can't fathom no defeat. And that's real. The only drive in. So I rolled back the attack until I started to hear more life come through in the vocal. Um, it almost sounds like a small volume increase. But it just here is that transients start coming through in the vocal, um, and it has life. Really use your ears when listening to this. Turn up your uh, headphones volume, your 
monitor volume so you can actually listen and hear that vocal come to life as I roll back the attack. And then with the release, um, so this is kind of like a medium attack for this style compressor. With the release, um, I generally want to have a pretty fast release, but not too fast, but it's still going to be a pretty fast release. So I'll show you what I do for the release. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week cause I can't fathom no defeat. And that's real, the only driver in my seat. Grab the wheel, I got that fire in my soul. Fuck a chill, I'm only letting off these headshots for the kill. Went from only wanting to rap to producing my own Okay, and so what I hear is a more even tone um, um, throughout the whole vocal. And so I brought up the low parts of the vocal with this compressor, and I reined in the high parts. So now I have a more even performance in terms of um, volume and a little bit more in tone. But I still retain some of the dynamics within the tone of the vocal. Okay. Um, and I'm looking over here. We have a. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice. We have the gain meter. And this tells us how much. Um, how many dBs we're pulling out. Um, <clears throat> I'm peaking at around seven, but it's like a steady about five dB of gain reduction that we're getting. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I... Which is generally good. I say about... If you're going to use two compressors like I do, I say about five to seven um, dB gain reduction on the first compressor. Um, and then only about a few, like one or two on the second one. Um, that's what I generally do. So then I like to go back over to the mix window. And then we have our bypass button. So I'm going to show you what. So basically, this allows us to bypass in and out of the plugin. I'm going to show you what it sounded like again before the compressor and then after the compressor and I'll plug in and out of it. So this is before we did any type of compression to it. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week cause I can't fathom no defeat. And that's real, the only driver in my seat. Grab the wheel, I got that fire in my soul. Fuck a chill, I'm only letting off these headshots for the kill. Okay, so when we plug out of the, when we take the plugin off, we bypass the plugin, we have a more rangy vocal. Um, when we plug it back in, it's more controlled. But if you notice, when we have the plugin bypass, we do have a little bit more volume. Um, coming out of the original vocal because like I said with the compressor what we're doing is we're actually getting some type of gain reduction we're um, taking out some dBs from it so this is where we use the output knob to give back some gain into the vocal so we can get back uh, close or match the original performance uh, gain level so I'm going to bypass it and see about where I'm at in terms of the gain looking at the fader and the meter. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. So I'm in between the negative uh, 15 to 20, so somewhere in between. So I wanna say about, I'm constantly hitting the, uh, let's see. 
I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for sure they don't apply to us. I be so on like the <clears throat> parts where I'm, I'm not going like higher in range. I'm about let's say 13, negative 13 dB. Um, so we're going to put some of that back in. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard working. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard working. Okay. So give me a second. It takes a little bit. This is just me um, matching this game level. I just like to listen to it, um, see where it's peaking at, and then I. Use this output volume to get it back closer there. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard. You see, we're under with the level that we were when it was bypassed. So we we'll start adding a little bit of it. Gain back to the performance. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard working. Just taking a step by step increments for the output. Now, I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work. Bypass it again so we can see where it's at. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I, I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedicate. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. Okay. And so that's about a, a good level we're matching. Um, out of phrases, we're matching the, uh, the game, but listen to it now. So we have compression and we actually push the gain levels to match. So this is before compressor. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't. Sorry, that was after the compression and this is before. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking si So listen, we are at the same level. And with it bypassed, now we have less presence. And it's not as even tone. And when we have the compressor actually on, we have more presence in the vocal. It sounds more warm. It sounds more in your face. Um, so listen to it again. So... Bypass with no compression. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication. It's there. It sounds a little bit thin to me, but then we put the compressor on it. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking. So more presence in the vocal. And like I said, we have more presence in the vocal, but we're still at the same gain level. So that's what a compressor does. Um, it brings out that presence in the vocal, rants in the dynamics. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to show you the second compressor I use in my vocal chain. It's the LA-2A. And with this one, I use the LA-2A, like I was saying in the intro of this video, mostly just for tone. Um, in my vocal, that I noticed with my vocal and plenty of other people say this um it adds warmth to it it adds warmth to my vocal and i do very very light gain reduction with this one um this is the gain knob just the pink reduction knob i really don't mess with the pink reduction on the second style uh just gain match to get it back to the setting like i said with this one um i use the output if i need to drive it anymore what i do is i use the output gain from the previous compressor. So this one, I use this if I need to push it any more into the LA-2A, and that's how I get my gain reduction. If I want more gain reduction, I use the output 
so so it hit the hit this um, compressor harder and more gain reduction will be done by me using the output of 1176 and uh, pushing it into this compressor to get more gain reduction. So here we go. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for show sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week cause I can Okay and pretty much I don't think I'm gonna change that too much because it sounds good i'm gonna uh, bypass it this is without it and it's a very subtle difference um if you have some good headphones you can hear it just, just listen it brings a little bit more warmth to my vocal i could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up hard work and dedication really don't require much all this fucking sacrifice just know that i provide for us breaking bid and all the rules for show sure they don't apply to us i've been grinding late nights and long days the fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat i work eight days about the week because i can't fathom no defeat and that's real the only makes my voice sound a little bit heavier that's what it sounds like to me um go back to this and we are getting a little bit of gain reduction so I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require. So, thinking about 2 dB gain reduction. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Bypass. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and de- I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require- and when you're doing this gain matching um, for it, it doesn't have to be exactly spot on. Um, I use some other saturation plugins that actually give a little bit um, more gain to it just by putting those plugins on. Um, but try to get it as close as possible. Um, and yeah, so let's go back. And we're going to play the vocal. We're going to bypass these. So we are bypassing all the both compressors that we used and any compression that we've done. We're gonna play the uh, vocal. Let's actually play it with the beat. That way you can hear it, um, how it sounds, in a with the uh, instrumental playing in the background or over it or underneath it. So here we go. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules for show sure they don't apply to us. I've been grinding late nights and long days. The fuck is sleep if you don't grind and you don't eat. I work eight days about the week cause I can't fathom no defeat. And that's real, the only driver in my seat. Grab the wheel, I got that fire in my Again. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for. So that's without any type of compression. Let me put both the compressors on and now listen to the vocal. I could teach you niggas how to build it from the bottom up. Hard work and dedication really don't require much. All this fucking sacrifice just know that I provide for us. Breaking bid and all the rules. So much more presence in the performance. Much more presence over the beat. We can now hear the vocal. Um, I did some other stuff to help the vocal cut through on some of the other uh, tracks and on the beat and on the master bus. And, um, but we have a more present vocal in our song over the beat. And that's compression. It doesn't have to be, I use the UAD plugins, these are UAD plugins, but Waves also has an 1176. I'll bring up the Waves. Um, Waze has an 1176. Waze has an LA-2A. So I just use UAD plugins. Um, I have a UAD satellite to take some of the processing load off of my CPU of my computer. 
And so you can use these on Waze plugin, any other style, uh, 1176, um, either the company that makes that style plugin or LA2A, you can use um, my technique and settings to get your vocals to be prominent in your mix to have some weight. And yeah, so that's how I compressed my vocals. Any other uh, tutorial you guys want to see me do, just let me know. It's Corey D, the motherfucking great. It's been great. AKA Poseidon Sounds, Down or Mob. And yeah, that's how I compress my vocals. My song, Bottom Up, you can find it on iTunes, Spotify, all the digital media outlets. It's on SoundCloud. And the next video, we can continue in this vocal chain process. All right, Down or Mob, and we out. Fuck y'all and have a great day. I could